Well, hey everyone, welcome to T Box Chatter. It's Alex from Until the Next Seat Off Vlog, the home of Gang Golf. So, today, I'm getting ready for the PGA show. It's coming up real fast. I'm actually supposed to be down in Florida right now covering the Diamond Resorts LPGA event, the Tournament of Champions, but I'm not there. Uh, it's always 2021, right? So, today I'm just getting ready, going through the golf bag, trying to decide if going to Florida for round of golf. And of course, I'm going to the hard test 770, the 699 Pro Irons. Excuse me for one second. Uh, right here as I disappear off camera and today has been more of the same um, it's a very very attractive iron for one it's all blacked out as you can see uh, black project on the shaft uh, 6.0 plus uh, the, the head itself is small compact there's it's a whole lot of a lot of offset and uh, I, I just I'm just in love with these irons uh, they're expected as, as I said before to be and I know I'm talking real fast, so I'm going to try to slow things down right now. Uh, all I can say is these irons are fantastic. Uh, Jason Highland at Sub 70, you and your team, you developed a very, very good iron gear for a wide range of players. Uh, I know the 699 irons, the originals, or the OGs as the cool kids say, uh, I know that those are geared more towards a uh, mid to high handicap golfer. Uh, I think that uh, a mid high handicap golfer would use these clubs too if they want to see a little less. Uh, what else am I doing here? Uh, well, uh, recently, again as I go off camera, uh, recently came out that Sturridge was coming out with a new set of metal woods, the uh, new EXS 20 metal woods. Uh, they have a full range, including the irons, uh, much like last year where they had the EXS irons, which were the top irons for me at the golf show. And uh, here's is the club that, uh, that I've been using since last November in that review. That's the original EXS Exotic Hybrid. This is, without a doubt, the best hybrid that I've ever used uh, to, to, to this day. Uh, it's one of those clubs where, you know, it's sort of like uh, being on cruise control or autopilot where you put it in your hands and you just know that you're going to the middle of a fairway. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what Tour Edge does at the ITPG show as far as following up the EXS rate with the EXS 20 metal. As well, uh, I haven't done this yet, uh, but uh, we were out about today and uh, went to uh, where I go and get my, my uh, reports I received from the state. And uh, in the review, I'm, very, I'm so excited about this. Uh, Phil Long, I have to thank you for, for this opportunity, uh, is Access One. So I'm really excited about uh, testing this putter out. Again, there's a putting green just in behind us here, and I'll be walking over there very shortly to make a few putts. Uh, it's cold outside, but it's lovely inside. <laughs> so anyway, just take it off the head cover real fast, which is very, uh, very tastefully done. Uh, uh, an amazing Velcro enclosure. Uh, here's the head itself. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, toe weight there for forgiveness on the, on the outer edge, or on the perimeter. Uh, very nicely done middle face. And you can see right there, the light just sort of kind of lights her up. And uh, she's just really pretty overall. And uh, I can't wait to roll some putts over there with this, with this putter. I'll be doing a more formal uh, unboxing or unveiling video, but uh, this is, uh, you know, going to be it for now because this is after all the box chatter, and there's a lot to talk about. Uh, we also just had our first winner of a first ball field event this past weekend down in uh, over in Hawaii, uh, the Sony Open. Uh, Cameron Smith. Uh, you have to know that that uh, Presidents Cup that he just finished playing in against the U.S. There uh, is going to be a ball be a real ball for him. And uh, sure enough, they said, you know, a little bit of controversy or however you want to put it, but there he was. He won the event, uh, clad in his original Penguin uh, gear, uh, carrying type of golf clubs, a full bag fit, I'm pretty sure. And uh, more importantly, uh, he also took some of his wins and donated it to his home country and it's helping with the wildfires out there, uh, you know, those poor animals and poor people over there in Australia. Uh, you know, my, my heart's with you all. You know, I'm sorry that you guys are going through that. Uh, we're pretty lucky where, where I live. We don't have to deal with that kind of stuff. So anyways, uh, yeah, it's just heartbreaking. But anyways, I'm going to get going. I'm going to uh, go get some more golf balls. Uh, this lake's feeling pretty good. Uh, I had to actually stop and have a drink. My craft is over there. A nice little craft here from Lord Rock Breweries. It's a blueberry ale. It tastes pretty fantastic. And uh, yeah, it's a way to get out of my groove and get me away from him the golf ball. I've been uh, putting on a little bit of a spike show up here. A couple off swings, but you know, all in all, not too bad. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to say so long for now from the World of Golf Zone in Chicago, New York. And we'll see you on the next team.